Hello everyone. So I've been playing with 15 puzzles for uh, past few days now. And uh, I'm thinking that it will be a really good idea to try this uh, game, uh, Building in the Closure Script. So today I'm giving it a chance uh, and see how it goes. So 15 puzzle is a sliding puzzle problem, uh, which contains uh, 15 squares, uh, instead 16 squares, 15 tiles, which moves around in the four by four metrics. One is an empty box. And they have to move in such a manner that the solved puzzle uh, or the solution of this puzzle will look like all the number ordered in one to 15 in the increasing order. And the last bit, which is on the bottom right corner would be an empty block. So we'll see uh, how this can be built using closure script. We are going to use a couple of uh, closure script libraries for it. We will use reframe. We will use reagent. So reagent is the react interface uh, return in the closure script. Uh, we will uh, leverage it to write the react like code in closure script. And then reframe is the one which we are going to use uh, and uh, build all the user interface around how the communication happens between the events. <clears throat> uh, we have the closure where we can look up for any library's version. So it is very similar to your Maven where you have to find out what is the version of the library available. Just search for the library name and you will get the relevant libraries and the what is the current version available. You can also find this information from your GitHub page. So in this case, uh, closure is 1.2.0. Uh, this, is, this is the one which is going to be required in your application while you're building it. We are going to use Shadowshi LGS. So this is, this is uh, everything what is uh, required for you to build a closure application or a closure script application. This contains uh, basic information uh, and it can pull all the dependencies which are needed and manage your uh, workflows, right? So let's get started. Uh, I'll switch to the VS code. And uh, we have this empty folder right now. I'll create a directory called 15 puzzle. <coughs> we'll just switch to this directory and then uh, let's see. First thing first, we'll do a bit initialization. <coughs> Let's see, uh, is there anything now which is expected? There will be nothing now. Once we are done with it, we'll do a npm init. So npm init will basically create a package JSON file for us. Uh, it will require certain details to be provided. 15 puzzle with project script. And once we are done with this, we'll add a couple of dependencies which are needed. Uh, this is all good. So the package JSON is created. It's a 15 puzzle application, what we are going to create. It contains certain information. Uh, there's a test script tag which is added and nothing is there. We'll add uh, more details as we proceed. Let's switch to uh, Shadow CLJS uh, library and see the different ways this can be used. So first, uh, first thing what they suggest is that you create a project using this and then you do an npm install set. So we'll just copy this and run this command. This will add a dev dependency of Shadow CLJS in my project. Uh, this will help us basically manage everything. So it has also installed the node modules which are required by Shadow CLJS. Uh, let it pull all of them. While that is happening, uh, we'll see 2.25.3 2 is the latest version available. So a record will be created for it. Uh, now we can use... Uh, Okay, we have to now look for, uh, these are the commands which we we can look uh, whenever we'll use it, but we have to look at the build integration tool. We can use landing in uh, to create a landing in uh, based project where you just create a 
project.clj file and add all the learning and profile details. However, I would prefer to go with depth CDN or a shadow CLJ, CDN uh, mode. So we will use shadow CLJs maybe to begin with. Uh, and uh, let's see. So this is done. Uh, and you can see the dev dependency is added here. Let's get started with the shadow CLJs related information. So I'm just looking for a piece of code uh, where let me I should search. So shadow, yeah, there's the configuration here. Uh, so it can use this. Oh yeah, there's the command. So you can create a default one by running shadow CLJS in it. So if I run this command, uh, it will create a basic uh, structure for me. Uh, uh, yeah. So it will create a basic structure for uh, me and uh, this is the empty structure which is created. Now this structure suggests that there will be something in this SRC dev folder. There will be something in the SRC test folder. I'm just removing these because right now I'm not going to create the dev profile uh, or a dev folder. Uh, I'll be not doing a test driven development as such. Uh, so there is no test which will be followed here. Uh, you can uh, you can always follow that approach. Uh, though we'll be touching on some aspects of that. And uh, we can create our own directory structure if you want. So I can name it as uh, maybe, I don't know what to call it, uh, gem puzzle. I just don't uh, give the names now. And call it as 15 puzzle again, okay? So if I'm creating a SRC 15 puzzle, then I have to create a SRC folder. Inside the SRC folder, I will create another 15 puzzle. So note I'm using underscore here. Uh, and now I should create my code.clgs file. So this is the main file. Uh, these are the bad habits where you're a little too quick. Just fixing the typo code.clgs. Okay. And then you end up creating a namespace which is uh, 15 icon puzzle dot code, right? So this is this is my core CLJS where my main functions would reside. I can also define my main function saying that uh, uh, this will be my my name. I call it my name, and we say that it will do a JS console dot log say Hello, YouTube. I believe it is going to reach YouTube. Okay, that's all. Uh, now we have to look for certain information in this. First is we have to add some build information. Let's see what is there in the builds. So build contains uh, this information, which is what uh, we are looking for. And build here, I believe, is the right amount of curly braces I have copied. Yeah, so I've just copy pasted. Uh, we'll give you a name. Uh, again, uh, you can change anything here. So there's the name of your application you want to call it. I can call it uh, maybe puzzle or whatever. Let's keep it uh, app for now. Uh, and uh, this is your main output file. Uh, so uh, this is the main output. Uh, there's a JS file which will be created. Now this target specifies that uh, whatever uh, build will be created, uh, it will be targeted for the browsers, which means that uh, the JS files will be running on the browser. You can have others as node uh, as well. And there is one more uh, output directory where all the JavaScript files will, gener uh, will be generated. So it will be a public folder. That public folder is relative to this path, which means under 15 puzzle, root directory, you will have a public directory and then you will have a JS folder. Assets will be inside the JS folder, all the assets. And then modules uh, basically specifies that what is the final or the main file which you want to create. So this will be the name of the JS file. And the entry, uh, you can, uh, so there is something called as uh, init fn, which is initialization function. And uh, this mainly talks about what is your main function which is going to initialize your uh, application, right? So you have to give uh, the 
namespace. I should just call it this. So this is the namespace uh, where the main function exists. And then you have to provide the name of the main function, which in my case is my main. Okay. Now, this should be good enough for us to get started, I believe. Uh, is there anything else which we are missing here? Oh yes, uh, we have to serve the uh, we have to serve the uh, how to say the resources, right? So let's see if there is. So uh, when, by serve I mean uh, whenever you are running your uh, static code, right? They need to be served by some HTTP server, so you can use. Uh, yeah, you can use the dev HTTP 8000 public. We can use something like this, uh, maybe. And uh, if, if uh, that is done correctly, let's see which we can, yeah, we can just copy this and maybe change our code, right? So let's see, I want to run it on port 3000. I hope that will be free and it will serve everything inside the public. Uh, believe this is good enough for us to get started uh, or is there anything else I should maybe um, yeah I should start the REPL and see whether it is going to work or not okay start your project uh, it is asking from where you want to start so I'll just say 15 puzzle that's directly where I want to start it's a shadow CLGS project so this is the app name where I can change it to anything, but right now, since I have kept it as colon app, it is showing that. And we'll start a build and I hope uh, we'll be able to see something uh, working. So right now I have not added any dependencies apart from shadow CLJS in the package JSON. As we move, we will add more dependencies as well. And since it is doing it for the first time, it will take some time. Okay, while this is happening, uh, let's see what else we can do. Um, oh, we uh, we should have we should have given. Uh, so this is uh, uh, this is syntax which is used in the closure script file to signify that this is equal to export my main, which means that whenever the JS file will be generated, okay. whenever the JS file will be generated, it is not going to, uh, I think there is some failure. I'll just, so normally uh, whenever the JS file is generated, if the export is not given, they will be renamed to anything. And uh, I was talking about uh, the main file which will be generated. So this is a shadow CLJS, main output is a file name. If I just go to the public uh, and if you will see, there's nothing generated in the public because the build got failed. Uh, let me just uh, debug this uh, real quick. So it is trying to see CRC 15 puzzle in the source directory. There is no dependencies, target is this. Okay, so that was a silly mistake which I did. Uh, basically, I'll just do an undo here. Yeah, so my source path was saying that uh, you should look for all the files which are provided. So in this case, it was basically trying to search for this namespace and then this function inside this directory, which means that ideally, my namespace should have been named like this. Yeah, so this would have worked, uh, but that 
that becomes incorrect because the directory structure is not matching. So what I did was I just removed, uh, I just removed the remaining part of it. And now it is only going to look for the SRC folder. And inside that everything <clears throat> is basically my package or the namespace names. So the build is completed. Uh, the HTTP server is running on now port uh, 3000. Uh, something we should just try and check how it is uh, running or uh, Okay. That's good. Uh, some progress. We have the HTTP server running and the error says that there is no index HTML found. Uh, because we have created the project, but we have not created any index.html file. So the part, the other part which I should have uh, mentioned is that main.output. So this is the main output JS which is created. That's basically this uh, key name, whatever you are providing here, right? So if I change it to something else, uh, it will generate that file name, say main out and I save it, uh, build is recompiling and will generate another JS file, which will appear in a moment. While that is happening, uh, I will create a index.html file, index.html file. Oh yeah, there is the JS one dot file, right? Uh, I would not want to pollute my this thing. So we'll just delete this. Okay, that's it. Cool. So I've created a, a index.html file now. <clears throat> uh, let's put some very basic information in the HTML file, which is obviously uh, we'll have some head it will have some bodies and now in the body uh, we have to provide the script location okay. we'll just provide the script tag src as the relative path to the script will be js slash main output dot js so this is the script uh, which is going to be used uh, relative to the current location of the index HTML inside the JS file. I believe I created the index file inside the JS, which is wrong. I should put it here. Okay, cool. So now uh, the JS folder is there. I have index.html. We can also create a directory under this for our CSS, which will come handy later. But uh, Let's focus on the index.html right now, okay? So head would contain some information, which is 15 puzzle. And I believe this is good enough for us to start. Let's see. Yes, some progress and there it is. Hello, YouTube. Great. So our project is uh, simple, which is up and running. It is doing this from the console. Uh, this is working. We'll just save and recheck this and do a reload. Yes, this is working, right? 